Cora. So let's take a look. You have the 10 and the 10, tens are the ending of things. Tens are the endings and these are 10 of cups. So it looks like you probably got some of your emotions under, under control. This also stands for happy home, getting things together, finishing projects. So probably all those seeds that you planted last month, dear Taurus, you are seeing uh, some movement from them, seeing some growth from them, making those hard decisions over the last couple of months, speaking your truth. They're all now starting to pay off. And it looks like your home front is a little happier. Your relationship space is a little happier. Um, and for those of you that are not in relationship space, it could just mean getting um, all the other relations that you have um, a little bit more uh, under control and a little bit uh, in a happier place. So it looks like you are finding your smile, Taurus, and that a lot of the worries and the challenges from the last couple of months have subsided or been released completely. But it does look like this is a 10. So you've moved into a little bit more manageable place in your home life and the balance homework family seems to be manageable right now. What crosses you is the devil. And the devil is a temptation. It is, it is, you know, it's the card that comes up for affairs. It's the card that comes up for DUIs. It's, it's the card that comes up for challenges. When we've made a step into something positive and it starts working really well, there usually is the devil in there that goes, hey, hey, remember me? Sure you don't want to do this behavior? So for those of you that are embracing sobriety, it may be, uh, you may be a trigger. For those of you that have made a decision about your love life. It may be um, a flirtation, um, but there is some challenge coming to you that, um, and it's just a test. It's just a test. And whether you pass it or not, it depends on you. Um, whether you repeat the destructive behavior that you just got out of, or if you release it and you let it go and you don't go into temptation. So, and for those of you too, that, um, have money issues, it may be, you know, frivolous spending. Um, so it can be just about anything, but it's normally the exact behavior that you have just changed for the better. So it's kind of like the little residue of temptation. What is above you is the lovers. Um, and the lovers, it's a wonderful card. It's a, it's a true intimacy connection. So it looks like you have been able to release some of the tension that was happening last month, Taurus, and that you are moving towards a more equal balance love relationship. For those of you that are thinking about releasing the love relationship, it's taking a look at it a little bit um, more intensely and, um, just being in integrity, having your words be kind, but, um, there's some energy around the lovers. It feels more positive than negative. Um, so it looks like that hard work, understanding and patience from last month and the month before, uh, in the relationship space, um, has paid off for those of you not in a relationship. It looks like you're continuing to put out the seeds to create a loving, positive, nurturing relationship. So it looks like good stuff going into relationship space. The hermit, the hermit is in the past position. Um, and it's exactly what it depicts. It's going into yourself, seeing what lights up for you. What information do you need to get? What uh, behaviors do you need to release? And it looks like you really took a long, hard look, honestly, at what benefits you and what holds you back. And you are making those changes. If you haven't already begun them, you are making those changes. So you're looking at things honestly. What is your next step? How does that look to you? And what energy do you have to put in to make that happen? So what is in the present place is the seven, seven of cups. Cups are emotions. But more than anything, this 
card stands for your wildest hopes and dreams. Uh, you have taken a lot of steps into your truth. You have released a lot of behaviors and habits and things that don't work for you anymore. So now it's time to re-up your bucket list. What do you want? What is your wildest dreams? This also can stand for not looking at things honestly, really looking at it the way that you want it to be versus the way that it is. So for those Tauruses that um, are in a situation that is not pleasant, if you're minimizing it, look at it honestly, make the changes that you can make. For those Tauruses that have already made those changes, please up your bucket list, redo your bucket list. You know, every seven years we change ourselves. We evolve a little bit. So all those hopes, dreams, and desires that we had as children or in our early 20s are no longer valid when we've made those changes. We're complete different people from where we were seven years ago. So, or there has been some shift and some change. So make sure your hopes, dreams, and desires shift with you and that they are in present time. Queen of Wands. Wands is a fire sign Queen is someone who's wise or uh, someone over 40 in a little older earth suit. The wands are fire sign. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it looks like you have some stuff coming up with a fire sign woman, someone with great uh, sense of responsibility, whose heart is pure, is a mover and a shaker, and it looks like you have great joy with this person and a great karmic connection. So it looks like it's more of the same. Um, it is right next to the judgment card. So um, make sure that your judgment is in check, that if there is anything that you disagree with, with this uh, fire, fire sign that you use your kindness with no judgment involved, um, just pure love and uh, just listen to where they are. But it looks like there is a fire woman coming to you either for advice or to work on a project together. Um, it looks like some things will be a little bit tricky with this communication. So it looks like your part in it basically is to listen. And when they ask for advice, that is when you give it. But it looks like this person has always been a supporter to you, always been there when you needed them. And it may be their turn for a little advice from you. But it looks like you will be reconnecting in the future um, and doing some activities. But um, some information will be coming out and the judgment card is right here. So um, make sure that you're neutral, um, that you speak from the heart with love and kindness, and that you hear um, with, with a non-judgment mind, with a non-judgment mind. And that is right on this line here. Uh, so I really feel that uh, this fire sign is part of this. So the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is a great card. I know you've been doing lots of work, sweet Taurus, releasing those, those fears, releasing the behaviors, addictions, um, speaking your truth. Uh, so this is more of the same. You will be rewarded for all that hard work that you've done. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is basically whatever you put your energy into. If you have lots of energy into your fears, your fears will be manifested. If you have lots of energy into your hopes and wishes and dreams and keeps those pure, that is what will be manifested. So it's just a reminder for you, Taurus, whatever you put your energy into, whatever your mind space is into, that will be manifested. You know, our mind is like a computer and it takes direction from us. So whatever we program our mind with, whether it's fear-based or love-based, that is what our body, our mind, and our spirit will manifest. So this is just a little, a little reminder to keep it positive, keep it simple, and keep it moving. All right, Taurus. The judgment card here. Um, what I'm feeling is that you've been really working very hard on not forming an opinion before you get all the facts. So it looks like in the past, jumping to conclusions, 
forming judgments, forming opinions has been detrimental to you and to relationships and the expectation levels. So it looks like something that you're continuing to work on that it doesn't really serve you. So um, you're catching yourself. You're catching yourself from that quick, swift judgment, um, the opinions of how people do their process. So it looks like you're really neutralizing your judgment and really um, hearing and seeing everything that's going on before you form an opinion or before you even give you two cents. Um, it looks like in the past it's something that you were quick to judge, but that is not in your space as much anymore. And also you're holding back um, judging yourself so harshly. Um, you're being a little kinder to yourself, sweet Taurus. I'm so glad you guys can be so hard on yourself. I know you go from one direction to the other. I am the king of the forest or I am nothing. So it looks like you're finding the balance because neither one of those are true. You are complete in who you are. You are perfect in who you are. Um, if you need to change anything, you change it. So you're not being as hard and as judgmental on yourself as you have in the past. So huzzah, fabulous Taurus. That's a great thing. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is here. Uh, the Aces, I like to call the God cards. It looks like it's a new beginning for you. Um, it also is, is, looks like you're either starting a new endeavor or creating a new way to make money. Uh, the discs can be money. They are earth as well, um, which is your sign. So uh, really finding something that makes your heart sing to make more money um, or start a new job. It's, it's really feeling like you're starting a new endeavor. You're investing in yourself. You're finding a new way that gives you joy. And it's kind of like I, I'm, I'm feeling like Finally, you're going to make money doing what you love. So take that leap of faith into doing what you love and trust that the money will be there. It will come to you um, when you need it. When you need it, this uh, doorway is opening. Also, it's lighting up for me. So these are brand new things and it may require you moving to someplace else. So it looks like a different view is here. So you may be actually physically moving from one home to another, um, or at least thinking about it. But it looks like you're really looking at your wildest dreams, which is great. You're looking at upping your game and what you want to do over the next couple of months and what that's going to look like for you because you've made some significant changes in your behavior, significant changes in your love space, judgment, um, really looking at uh, habits and things that have not worked for you. So now it's time to fill in all those spaces that you've released all that energy with new and wonderful things. And it looks like you're on the path to doing it. So you're really looking at uh, making money doing something that you love. The Justice card is right here. It's at the top. For many of you, it can be resolving a legal issue. Um, for the most part, it looks like righting a wrong that was done to you, not that you have done to someone else. But it looks like it took a lot of strength to kind of march through this injustice, and the injustice feels like it happened to you um, in the past, maybe even as far as one or two years ago, but I'm feeling that an apology is coming to you or some awareness is coming to you by the uh, by the person who slighted you. And this does not feel necessarily like a legal battle. Um, it can be, I don't want to minimize that. It can be, but for the most part, it feels like there's an apology coming to you, a wrong that will be righted. And that is in the present time. It's in the culmination position. So that will be coming to you sometime in the month of December. But you've had to be very strong. You've had to kind of swallow your pride, um, continue with your kindness. This karma sign is lighting up. So it feels like it was a lesson for you to learn. So you never do that to anyone else. And it's kind of feeling like a boss taking advantage of you. Um, so when you are the boss, you will be able to not do what this person did to you. So it looks like an apology or a right. Uh, uh, a right is coming after a wrong. 
you've lost a little sleep about some things. It looks like you've been really thinking about, overthinking about some things. It's disturbing some of your sleep patterns. It is coming to an end. This is a nine. So some of these things that you um, are trying to resolve that are seeping into your astral space or your sleep space um, are being checked off one by one. They, you can release that. These will be lessening. Um, it is on one side of the justice and the strength, as well as the Ace of Pentacles, which are all very um, intense cards that propel you with movement. So a lot of these things that you're really worried about are starting to just release. They're starting to fade away. The answers are coming. And a lot of them is just impatience. And I know, Taurus, that is one of your challenges this lifetime. So it's just about patience. Um, and this is a temporary situation. Um, so you will probably get back into the positive sleep patterns, but it looks like your sleep has been disturbed. I don't know if you have a deadline at work right now and you're not sleeping as much to uh, meet that deadline, but there are some things that are taking up too much space in your head and one by one they will be checked off very soon. So you'll get your sleep pattern back, but it looks like that is what's happening right now. So that is a reading, dear Taurus. Let me throw a couple of these cards and these are chakra cards and um, they seem to bring a little clarity. They're simple, straightforward, miracle. Ooh, are you getting in touch with your magic, dear Taurus? So it looks like don't give up before the miracle happens is what I'm feeling. Then there's wisdom. So use that wisdom. Use the wisdom of, your, of yours. Use the wisdom of your elders um, and put it into play. Put it into play. Things happen for a reason, so pay attention. If a situation is coming up, use that experience that you've used, that you learned from before, and don't give up. Don't give up. Miracles happen every day. You're a miracle, so don't give up. Um, it will. You will get clarity. You will get the information that you need. So you have a couple of miracle cards here, and um, don't forget your magic. 